Hey you guys, it's Ani. This video is going to be a little different. Um, I'm going to be really raw and really like try to be like no filter um, with you. And this video is for those of you that feel like the results you want are not sticking. Maybe you've been getting some movement, but it's not sticking. Maybe you get like a text here and there, a little movement here and there, um, or it's not even about SP. It could be about money too. Like maybe you're getting a little bit here and there, but then it's not stable. So this is really going to be tough love. I've, I've done one, I think, other tough love video, but I wasn't really tough loving it. I've been feeling to do it recently. Like, I don't know if someone's manifesting this, but let's cut the BS already, right? You want results and you want stable results, consistent results. This whole last week, last few weeks of seeing um, clients, I've noticed a trend in the clients. So I will be talking about the tough moments um, where you feel completely alone, uh, you feel completely exhausted, you feel like manifestation doesn't work, what to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about that. Um, for those of you manifesting a specific person or your man or your woman, um, and if there's a third party, and third parties don't necessarily mean like it has to be a third person. For a lot of people, third party is the SP's work or they're too busy or they can't prioritize. I'm going to be talking about that too, why a lot of those situations happen um, and how to get through it. But really, I want this video, like, I'm not going to be sharing too many client successes and, oh, this is what this person wanted and this is what they got and blah, blah, blah. Like, I will share your success if you have sent it to me. Um, maybe in the next uh, Friday's video, but today I really want it to make like this a more like a pep talk slash rant slash let's cut the BS type of stuff because I want to see you guys win and I want to keep um, you in your power and I want you to realize that it's not just through exhausting yourself through techniques all day and it's not just re receiving this much and that's it that's what you're gonna settle with okay so if this resonates with you so far comment down below um it's so funny you guys uh one of my cl amazing amazing clients left a comment recently and she was like she was like ani i get so much success just watching your videos alone on um, YouTube, just watching the content and applying it, right? And she's like, I listened to my friend in Lack, and I guess the friend has a story that coaches just kind of push their courses or whatever. She's like, I listened to her in Lack, and I, I kind of stopped watching videos. And then she's like, everything got stagnant, everything stopped. And she's like, when I chose to listen to myself and come back to watching your videos again, I started seeing more movement and in, in my manifestations. And this is not just about me and my videos, but this is about, I want you to learn to trust yourself, trust what vibes with you and trust what resonates with you. I remember when I was manifesting everything I have now, there were a lot of people in lack at the time around me and they were um pushing their limiting beliefs on me and if i had really listened to them and not trusted myself i probably wouldn't be where i am right now with everything i wanted i manifested so uh, a lot of this journey is you learning to trust yourself you learning to kind of shut down the chatter inside and shut down the chatter from out there um, and again, whether you coach or not, whether you, uh, buy courses or not, at the end of the day, it's up to you and your consistency and how bad you want it. You can buy all the courses in the world and all the books in the world and coach with every, um, 
coach in the world. But if you're not going to apply what you're learning and you're going to just have the experience but stay in the same mindset, your reality is not going to change. So us coaches, I speak for myself and everyone here. Literally, you guys, we're here going through it with you if you are our clients. Blood, sweat, and tears, we we take that in, we hear you, and we want you to win. Okay, so just know that. And if even though people are you pushed out, right? You can have assumptions of people being in lack. You can have assumptions of um that person thinks this way, and if you're not strong enough within or you're not deciding to follow your heart or what resonates with you, you can be easily influenced, right? So just always remember that. I'll talk about that a little bit later too. But it happens to all of us. We all listen to, you know, bad advice sometimes. But you guys, I'm here this Friday to talk to you about you getting consistent results. You getting consistent results. You finally getting the commitment with your SP. You finally getting money flowing in like crazy. You getting six figures, five figures, whatever it is that you're manifesting. Recently, I was talking to one of my clients. She was like, Ani, I finally manifested the raise. I fi and she's like, I couldn't believe it. And I was like, girl, like, believe it. You are worthy of it. And do you see that even though you didn't believe it, it still came, right? So your end, all you need to step up with in your end, it, on, from your end, is your consistency and you really deciding that you're done with the current lack reality of yours and you're ready for a new reality. And this doesn't have to be as extreme, right? Sometimes it gets intimidating when we think of it as like, oh, it's a whole lifestyle change, right? Like if I want my reality to change, I have to change every little aspect and it sounds so hard and it's it's just too much and I can't do it, right? It's not as intimidating as you think. It's more of you um, kind of checking yourself moment to moment rather than you obsessing over this whole lifestyle change you're about to make. Slow and steady wins the race in this case and slow and steady actually gets everything you want faster when you're trying to rush through everything and change everything all at once and you're waiting for these results to show up all at once th there's more resistance there so one thing i want to mention is something you need to do going forward if you're really ready to get everything you want and you're really ready to change the evidence that's been coming in is you really want to calm that chatter down inside. Write this down. Know this. This is a huge step. I don't want to hear at the end of it. Oh, well, tell us how. You didn't tell us how. I'm telling you right now. Okay. A huge thing you need to take seriously is when the chatter is loud inside, understand you are not in the right state to receive, okay? You are not in the allowing state to receive what it is that you want when the chatter is too loud up here. When the chatter is too loud up here, resistance is present. And what I mean by that is whether it's a person you want to come in, to text you, to call you, to commit to you, to be stable with you, whether it's money you want to come in. When this is loud, you are in survival mode. This wouldn't be loud if you were in accepting mode or calm. This is only loud when you're in survival and you're problem solving and you're trying really to control and manipulate every aspect of your reality because you're not accepting your current reality. Okay? This is very important. So if you need to rewind, play back again, do it. I think this video is going to be one of the most important videos you watch from me. I mean, I've had pretty amazing videos. I won't lie. Like, But this one is very important. 
if you want results that stick this chatter and you being in that survival mode of constantly trying to solve this equation of how when where what why let me live in the end let me live in the end let me you forcing yourself to live in the end even though it feels completely like forced and exhausting all of this is all survival mode how do i know this this is how literally what i've been through and i I've, I've literally manifested everything i want by really really exercising this so again write this down re rewind replay whatever this is very important think about it the things you have manifested things you have received it was never when you were in survival mode it was in the moment where you accepted or you just calm down or you let go it was never when the chatter was loud it was when you gave up the chatter and it's not just chatter okay it first starts as a million scenarios running through your head it starts with you trying to manipulate trying to manipulate what do i do next to get this person to commit to me what do i say how do i show up when they text me what do i respond um how can i show up for them to finally get scared and make the move right so if you're manifesting as listen to this it's important we are not threatening the other person through playing hard to get and manipulation and control for them to conform that's probably worked in the past for you you've probably read the books of psychological manipulation and all that but it doesn't stick that's why you're watching this video i know because i've read all of those books and it doesn't stick because you're doing it out of desperation number one think about people that are already showing up in your life are you constantly trying to manipulate every step and trying to wonder what to say what to do and how to tiptoe around them so they can show up the way you want and conform no you're not okay so let's cut that bs right here right now you're going to be a success if you apply these daily what i'm saying in this video by the way, I forgot, um, get your drinks, get your snacks. Like I completely forgot about that. You guys, for those of you watching that have been sick lately, I'm intending you get better because um, I was like two weeks ago and then I saw a lot of clients emailing in about that so i intend while you're watching this video you just feel a thousand times better and i hope this video sticks like the title okay so again figuring stuff out exhausting yourself until you're tired of thinking and trying to manipulate the other person place or thing equals survival creator is not receiving in survival survival is reactor mode i mentioned this in maybe years ago in my old video but i mentioned this example and i'll mention it again have you ever noticed animals they're so chill like I watch my cat all the time. My cat never overreacts. I, I like I'm an animal lover. Like if you guys are OG viewers, you know. And when you watch them, they are doing their thing. They are not worried, tripping out, overreacting, planning attacks as much as we are overthinking. They only attack or defend themselves when it's in front of their face, right? So please take this example and apply it to yourself too. Unless it's something you really, really need to address in that very moment because you will, you feel like you will die if you don't or you, you feel like you will explode if you don't, you need to calm it down. You need to calm it down if you want 
consistent results, whether it's with someone or whether it's money, whether it's a specific person, whatever it is, because you want to switch that lane. I talk about this, right? All the time, the lanes, the parallel realities, the mindsets. When you're in a lane of survival or lack or resistance, that lane is not taking you to receiving mode of your desire, right? This is why I get so many people coming to me that are saying, Ani, I'm been trying to live in the end for so long, but I feel anxious all the time. I'm feeling anxious and worried all the time, but I'm still really, really, really trying to live in the end, but it's not working. I haven't seen results in months and years, not even a droplet. It's not working, but I've been trying to live in the end. Well, there's the problem, right? If the majority of your dominant thoughts are you trying to really, really manipulate all day, every day, your, where's your trust? Where's your faith? Right? They go hand in hand. So if you know you're a creator and you're putting the desire out there, you also give it space to conform and show itself. You don't push up against it. You're, you don't say faith in the unseen, faith in the unseen, live in the end, live in the end, but then chase it. Where is the trust? This is number two important um to manifestation important tip to manifestation where is your trust when you're worried about when sp calls you or texts you what you're gonna say to get what you want that's not you and your knowing that's not you and your trust that's you and your manipulative state manipulation equals insecurity lack resistance again you're carrying this weight of it's not going to happen unless i push up against it and make it happen i have to make it happen because i am god of my reality it doesn't work that way you are god of your reality but you do what you got to do up here and then you calm it down so the force that's getting you and actually moving around the chess pieces delivers it to you you are in a partnership. Remember, I say this all the time, you guys. And I will say it until you get it. You know how many clients of mine say, Ani, you've been saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And I finally understand what you're saying. I finally get it. I finally applied it. And I'm finally getting results. So I'm going to say it. I don't care. I don't care. If I have to say it a thousand times a day for it, it, for it to get to you, finally, I don't care. I was like that too. But when you're in that manipulative state, you are not in the receiving state. You are not in the allowing state. You are not respecting business partner. Business partner is like, all right, you want to take control of it, take control of it, whatever. I'll just sit and watch because apparently you know best, right? Apparently you know best seeing things like this versus me force universe god seeing it from aerial view don't disrespect don't disrespect this force that's asking you to desire and then trust because i promise you you will you will one day realize that it doesn't take so much manipulation and control to get what you want Okay, so if you are someone that's really, really, really wanting to push the relationship talk, or if you are someone that really, really, really uh, is waiting to text your SP in a way to get them to under your control to get what you want, or what I'm trying to say is if you're trying to psychologically get what you want out of pushing the other person and you're using every opportunity to make them conform, it's not going to happen fast enough. I'm telling you that right now. If you want results fast, be more present, 
calm this chatter within. You're probably asking, how do I calm the chatter within? So many ways. So many ways. For many people, meditation helps in that moment and you calm down. For a lot of people, EFT has been helping like crazy. EFT, I have courses on EFT, you guys. Uh, the the successes I've been hearing lately, I haven't even had a chance to share it with you, is crazy on the EFT tapping on the self-concept, EFT tapping on um, SP. There's certain meridian points you're hitting on your face and body that is releasing old subconscious programming and reinforcing new programming that you want. Now, A lot of people get to this and actually really make a change when they're tired of their BS life, when they're tired of what they've been seeing. Uh, I was like that. I was so like trying to control my reality when I didn't know really what I know now that I was okay with getting hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt so many times until like there was only one droplet of of like energy left in me like until until I didn't like finally stand up and say screw this crap I'm done with the results I'm getting. I'm done with the con with the reflection I'm getting. I didn't really make the change. So if you're anything like that, it's okay. But at some point, you're going to get tired. At some point, you're going to be like, mm, yeah, it's been a year. It's been two. It's been three. It's been another relationship and another and another and another. And I'm still stuck where I am. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because you keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. You keep showing up the same old lack way for yourself and expecting different results. You will not get a different reflection until you change internally. You are the core. You are the root. Who the hell are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? They're not going to conform until you change your inner world and you stay consistent with your inner world. I, I learned this, you guys. I learned this literally. I don't want to say the hard way, but I was persistent in my old story. Like I was just like, I was in victim mode. I would create excuse after excuse after excuse on why this time it's going to work. It's going to work. I'll still keep doing the same old stuff and it'll work. You know? No. Every time I would get knocked down, every time it was harder and harder and harder and harder because I didn't listen to my truth inside. And my truth inside got louder and louder and louder and louder. And the reflection got louder and louder and louder and louder. Not being chosen first. And first, the third party in my situation was um, work. My man's work was more important. And then I felt not chosen, not chosen, not chosen, not chosen, wasn't changing the story, wasn't changing the story, wasn't showing up for myself, wasn't consistent in my new mindset, constant victim mentality, constant making excuses. What happened? That cup filled up and what has to reflect back? Actual third party. And then that knocks you down. And then eventually when you get back up, you're like, I'm tired of this BS. Like something needs to change. And obviously that's the reflection. That's not going to change. This has to change. So the reflection has to change. Until you don't understand that and until you don't take accountability that you are the root, I'm sorry, it's going to take a while. I'm telling you straight up. You need to take accountability and responsibility that you are the core. You are the center of your universe. You are the connection. From here, 
mind, body, soul, this human that you are, this computer that you carry, this is what's sending out through your subconscious mind into the universe what should keep playing out for you. And if you're... Now, don't take this the wrong way. Being delulu, being delusional is, is, is a good thing when you're a manifester. But if you're delusional in thinking that you're going to completely stay the same internally and you're going to get different results externally, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Okay? So one thing I want you to do for homework is really be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Sit your butt down and write down how, how you keep showing up for yourself. And is that how you want other people to show up for you? Because if you're someone that can't keep your word to yourself, don't expect others to keep your word to you, their word to you. They're straight up reflection. You start asking yourself how to show up for you and is this how you want others to show up for you because it's going to reflect okay so you start keeping your word to you you start being honest stop surrounding yourself with people in lack stop surrounding yourself with people in you may you you know misery loves company right so stop surrounding yourself in that if all you you do is go out and listen to your friend complain about their boyfriend or girlfriend or how um shitty their behavior is and this and that and there's no like change you're feeding that to your subconscious mind too you're feeding that to your subconscious mind and then you're going to go home and think about it and then you're going to start comparing it with your relationship and how is your sp different or this or that you don't need that extra burden in your subconscious you're a creator right uh for example let me give you this analogy if you order a cake right or if you order food you don't want that that cake's ingredients to be all this processed extra 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 stuff right or whether you you order food you don't want it to have a thousand ingredients right? Because that's kind of shady. It's like, if it's fresh, it's fresh. Like, it's a few ingredients. We don't need all this burden in it, right? So you kind of hesitate to eat it, right? I mean, hey, sometimes we don't hesitate to eat it, but that's a different story. But you wouldn't want that, right? So why feed it? Why feed something? It, why overload your subconscious that's trying to push things out for you? Okay? Stop overloading with people in lack. Stop overloading with stories that you keep replaying over and over and over. Literally sit your butt down and ask yourself, what story do I keep replaying over and over about this person? What do I assume? What do I assume of myself? Maybe it's not, maybe it's not even you're, you're pushing it on the other person. Maybe it's what you think of yourself that you keep replaying over and over and over again, and you never change the story. You never change the story and you expect that person to show up differently. How? If you truly understand the law, how does that work? You are the root. If the root is not watered and fed correctly, the evidence is not gonna show up properly. The branches are not gonna grow great. It's not gonna work out. Okay, so you really that honesty, that truth, that faith, that trust, that all of that I'm mentioning in this video is very, very important. Uh, and these things are not these things are not easy sometimes to face. I'll be real with you. A lot of the times your 3D is not going to be easy to face. A lot of the times you're not going to hear everything you want to hear from that person. Those are the moments you still show up for yourself. Those are the moments you still stick to your truth. You still calm the chatter down inside. I don't care what anyone says. You know how many times I've been rejected? Even for this house that I'm literally making this video in, I still wanted it. I didn't give a crap. And everything was against me. I still got it. SP. I had created freaking SP to be damn Casanova and have all these people in 
their phone and this and that and whatever, whatever. Oh, we can't be together. No commitment. No, I'm not ready. Not ready. Blah, 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 blah. You change this. You calm this down. You get real with yourself. You start trusting yourself. It's not as easy as I'm saying it is, though. I intend it is, but because you have built up programming, sometimes that programming can be toxic. I won't lie. And you know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Sometimes the programming we have internally is very toxic. What do I mean by toxic? Um, we have programmed ourselves to search for validation outside of ourselves constantly. And if we don't get that validation, we get into anxiety and we get into depression because we're not getting the validation from outside, which you've trained yourself to do, which is wrong. The outside validation will come to you when you start doing it to you. Again, you are the root. Okay, so stop expecting it from outside when you create the ripple effect from inside. That's number one. The, that's, that's one toxic thing I used to have is, oh my God, I need the validation. I need the validation from my mom because if I don't get it, I'm not going to calm down. Or I need the validation from money. Or I need the validation from this, from that, from this person, from that person. You will always search your butt off if that's the case. Because everything is always within first. And if you're searching for it, you're creating a ripple effect that you have to keep searching for it. So that's also an issue too. So that's something you need to work on if you're someone like that. Okay, or we've trained ourselves to be comfortable with uh, not receiving what we want, right? It's so much more believable to not receive than receive, right? So if you're someone like that too, that's something you need to work on changing too. See, everything I'm saying, these sound so simple, but you need to catch it when you're doing it throughout the day. Because I, I I can guarantee you do do it throughout the day if you're if you're evidence hasn't changed. All this stuff I'm talking about, if you apply the changes consistently, you will see results. You will see results. And if you need help with this, I'm here. Coaching li links are in the description box. Course links are in the description box. I don't care what anyone says. I'm still going to share all the course successes. Like all... Every time someone gets success and wants me to share it, I'm going to share it. I don't care what anyone is thinking in lack. Oh, they're pushing courses. No, you're just in lack. And that's your that's your belief. Just watch the video and apply then. You don't have to. I always say it all the time and I still don't understand why. Like, you guys don't have to purchase anything. Apply the changes if you're serious about your change simple as that but that's lack also so fix that too you guys this uh i, f I feel like i said i this was going to be tough love but there I, i'm still filtered when it comes to these videos but i hope this video helped i hope this video helped i hope it kind of woke you up and I want you to know, it doesn't matter what you're in right now. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It doesn't matter how bad it is. Trust me, I hear crazy stories every single day with clients and they still get results. People that have been trying for a very long time, they get results. People have been trying for a very short time, get results. People that thought that their experience was so traumatizing that they could never get through it, get results. I'm not here for the fluff stuff. Like, I'm here for you to learn your power and consistently use it and see the results until you don't need to do the techniques anymore when it's just coming natural to you.
and you feel calm about it and you know how to maneuver through it. Okay. I love you guys. I will see you in next Friday's video. I love, 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 love each and every one of you. I'm here for you. Courses, coaching, links, whatever you need in the description box. Thank you for everyone's beautiful, beautiful feedback and comments that you guys send on a daily basis. I honestly, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate every single one of your beautiful, beautiful comments. Okay. I love you guys. I will see you.